Welcome to Ask Sean, where I explore all sorts of questions about life, relationships, and being human. I'm Sean Slevin, a licensed professional counselor and a licensed marriage and family therapist. And if you have a question for me, you can submit that anonymously at askshawn.org. So I'm thinking today about the importance of experimenting, the importance of just trying things uh, and seeing what happens. Um, and, you know, this is not without cost, but the reality is there's always a cost. There's a cost to doing nothing, um, just as there is a cost to trying things. Uh, so this this is on my mind this morning because I, um, I'm at a point in life where I'm starting to lose some of my near vision. So like really fine print uh, is starting to get blurry. And um, yeah, and so I had gone to the eye doctor, gotten checked out. My distance vision has actually stayed very stable for years and years. Um, but uh, he was suggesting I could consider, you know, switching to progressives. Uh, with, you know, it's not a it's not a huge need, but, uh, but I was like, well, maybe I'll just go ahead and try this out. I think progressives are really cool technology. Um, and yeah, so it, you know, it, it made sense to try and it really didn't work well for me, um, which is not a, you know, a jab at progressives or the technology, but, but I learned something really important that I couldn't have learned without trying. I think that was, that was kind of the thing that I, I just keep coming back to. Uh, cause one, one of the bummers is that like, I, you know, I paid for the progressive lenses and so I'm not going to get a refund on that. Um, they're going to, the eyeglass place is going to, um, switch me back to my original prescription, my monovision, um, for free. So there's no charge in that, which is nice. But, um, but you know, it was like $700 extra to do progressives. Um, and you know, that's, that's something, right? Like, um, yeah, so, but I um, I just had no idea how much, in terms of how I use my vision, how I engage with the world, how much I look through all portions of my lenses. Um, and, and so the reason progressives didn't work for me is that, you know, with how progressives work, you know, there's different parts of the lenses that are for different distances and... Um, and so I just found it really disorienting and discombobulating. And I tried them for several weeks. I gave it a good a good run, but I just never settled into like, ah, oh, this feels right. This uh, and and not just this feels right. It feels worth it. It feels worth the trade off. It just never felt. It also never felt right, but it never felt worth the trade off to me. Um, and so this this taught me something important. This taught me that I really value being able to look through my lenses, however, and have clarity. And so I'm willing, for the sake of maintaining that, I'm willing to give up the convenience of, um, you know, being able to read really fine print, you know, through my glasses. So right now I have to either kind of, you know, sort of cheat, so to speak, by kind of bumping my lenses up and, you know, looking without my lenses, or I have these really fun um, little, like, readers that, go on the end of my nose, little nose pinch, uh, pince nez, as the old, old, uh, I think French term is, uh, glasses that I can use if I really need them. Um, so, you know, and we'll see, I may end up in progressives someday yet. I mean, I don't know what the future holds and that, you know, that cost benefit analysis may feel different in future years. But my point in all this is, isn't about glasses. Ultimately, it's about that we just have to try shit, you know, like I, I, I didn't, I didn't know this about myself until I did this experiment. Um, and yeah, it's a bummer. The loss of, the loss of money. Like I'm, I'm, I am genuinely disappointed about that. Um, but you know, it, I needed to try it. Like it, it made sense to try. Um, and, and so now I'm, you know, in the future, I'm going to know like, okay, I got to really, really want to make that switch to progressives for it to be worth it to me. Um, and maybe I end up in them eventually, but it's, it's not going to be without a lot of consideration and a lot of trying other ways of accommodating, you know, the, the, the gradual loss of, of near vision that happens with age. And so that's, yeah, that's really useful. Um, and it's really important that I'm listening to my gut. I guess that's the other thing is like, 
we got to try things and then we have to check in with ourselves and say, okay, how does this feel? You know, does this feel worth it to me? Does this feel worth the trade-off? Because everything is a trade-off. There's no perfect path. There's no path without cost. Um, like, and we all have to weigh like, what's, what is, what is something worth to me? You know, um, in terms of the, the pros and cons, the costs and benefits and, um, so yeah, I guess all, all that's just to say, I guess that would be my invitation, you know, to you, the viewer, is where are places in your life where maybe you just need to try a thing. You just need to experiment. You need to stop deliberating and doing, you know, days and weeks of internet research or whatever on something or, you know, trying to get somebody else to make the decision or tell you the right thing. And you just, you just need to go and try it, take the plunge, like bear the cost and see how it goes. And in some cases, you may find it like, okay, great, this worked great for me, whatever the thing is. In other cases, you may you may find out like, okay, that, yeah, no, that's not, that doesn't work for me. That's not what I want to do. But you could only get that confirmation by trying. You can only get that confirmation, that clarity. I guess that's the thing is like, like we're going to bear, bear a cost either way. I think it's worth it to pay whatever it takes to get clarity. Um, because the lack of clarity just eats us up. We just spin our wheels and we don't live our life. Um, we just wait and we, you know, again, deliberate endlessly. And I'm not against, you know, deliberation or research and taking your time to be thoughtful, but there is a point at which that crosses over into, okay, now I'm avoiding. Now I'm avoiding taking the risk of showing up and just being like, okay, this is my best guess about what I think might be good for me. I'm going to try it and see what happens. Um, but it's only in that stepping into that uncertainty that our life has really lived um and and that and that something the chance of something new happens new something new happening can can occur you know that uh at the minimum that we could learn something new about ourselves. um so yeah be brave whatever your things are that are before you right now and uh step into them and yeah experiment and and then check in listen listen to your insides you know, listen for either confirmation that this feels really right uh, or for something that, that persists in a, I don't think I feel great about this. I think I want to, I think I want to go a different direction, whether that's reverting to, you know, my case, reverting to my original prescription, uh, you know, to monovision um, and, you know, doing some other things to accommodate, you know, my gradual loss of near vision, you know, or, um, you know, finding yet another path, right? Um you know, or some, or some mixture thereof. So, um, so yeah, yeah. I, I hope that you'll step into your life a little more fully here in the coming days. Um, so until next time, peace be with you. Mm -hmm.